If I had a dime every time I heard somebody say, don't sell this on eBay or this doesn't sell on eBay and I'm selling it on eBay, I'd have a lot of dimes. Hello everybody, welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. My name's Kevin and thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming and hanging out here in the shed in the backyard as we're selling some stuff. Hopefully you're selling some stuff on eBay. We sold some things, sold some things that I love to sell and a lot of people, they kind of look at me cross-eyed sometimes, like really? Sometimes people just give this stuff away because most of it's not worth any money. But if you know what you're looking for, you don't have to sift through everything and you can find a few good things really quickly and grab things really, really cheap. They do make a little bit of money. So let's take a look. All right, first one here is not one of those items. I think, I don't know if this video has come I think I just edited this video. It has not come out yet, but it's coming out soon. And it was a fun one to make. And this was a great little garage sale. So this is I Remove Fat Binder. I don't know. Take some pills, you lose weight. Who knows? But it's sealed. And I listed this. And this actually sold on Bonanza. It sold on Bonanza and it sold for $23.50. I think free shipping or total all in it was $23.50 and so you know I haven't had many bonanza sales so it's not unreal but I had two today which is really really odd normally like two in a month would be fine with me because it's not much work to it so at any rate it's a nice I paid a dollar for it and sold for that so you know we'll make close to 15 bucks profit on it my phone just went off right there that's storage slayer so if you remember storage slayer he's been he's bought things and, and given them away as gifts and I didn't know he didn't have an Enemand, so I said, hey, buddy, we're going to send you an Enemand. So he just sent me an Instagram, so it's on its way. Appreciate it. Okay, here's an item I picked up for five bucks. It was at a sale. I was at with Bizarro Kevin. It was just an indoor sale. Matter of fact, if you've watched this program for a while, you remember the Mount Plushmore sale. Well, it was a year ago exactly from that date that I bought all the plush. So it was a year later and went back to the sale, you know, I'm in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I would love to strike it rich here again. Didn't happen, but you know, we found a few things. So here's one of the things we found. White collar, brand new sealed in the package here. And it sold for $39, $38.99. And I thought this would be a good item. I paid five to do our little chart and to give people who aren't resellers an idea of how much money you're really making on this after fees and after shipping. For all you old pros out there, you know, do you ever calculate in your mind, how, what's your method of doing a quick calculation to see how much money you're gonna make on an item? Is there a way to do it? This is the way I do it. So here you go, $38.99, I would obviously do 39, and I would use round numbers in my brain to get to this, but it still gives you an idea. So, you know, I would take these numbers down here, I'd take 39, I'd, I'd make that a four and I'd make that a six and I'd come up with a total of about a $24 profit if I was trying to do it quickly in my brain. But let's look at the real numbers here. $38.99, cost is five. Shipping cost is $3.86. Fees are not $5.84. I put 15% in there for the fees because that covers a little bit of the cost of the box and the label and the tape and all the stuff that goes with it. So $24.29 in profit for an item like that that was really really easy to pick up there's tons of resellers around there wasn't much to pick from so you had to kind of pick a few things and when i saw that uh, shimmering plastic i'm like that thing's new it's got to sell right here you go wiley coyote so this is one of the things this isn't the thing i was talking about about not selling uh, you know a lot of people don't sell but i have heard resellers say don't sell plush it's not worth your time well Depends on where you live, right? You know, if you're making a $2,500 mortgage payment a month, making, you know, $350 on a plush isn't, isn't worth your time. <laughs> but uh, I like to sell plush because it's so easy to sell, even if the profit's only six or eight bucks. And if you're willing to sell something that you're gonna make six or eight bucks on, I know you're willing to pick something up like this. So Wiley Coyote here is from 1971. I think that's the date. I might have that wrong. I think I have it wrong. Now. No, no, no. Well, it's copyright 1971. I doubt this was made in 71, but you get the point. So this Wiley Coyote right here, I put it in a bundle, but I bet I didn't pay more than three bucks for this guy right here. Sold for $80 plus shipping. He's posable. There's a bigger one that's even taller than this, and they have a Roadrunner that goes in the hundreds of dollars. 
So, you know, whenever you find those unique characters out there, those popular characters like him, you know, you don't see a bunch of Wile E. Coyote plush. But if you see something like that and it's big, it's posable, it's definitely worth picking up. 80 bucks plus shipping. So here are some Excalibur 3 Kingmaker. It's an electronic magnetic chess game that has some value. I picked this up, if you remember, I hate to even say the name of the, the thumbnail, but y'all watched it, so what the heck. It was, uh, I found it in her underwear, or it was in her underwear, I think is what it was. It was in her underwear, which is where we find the, uh, where we found the TI, I don't know which one that was. It was a platinum calculator. I think it was anyways. And it was in a bag of, of I don't know if it was her underwear. I assume it was. She's the only woman there, and it was woman's underwear. But uh, underneath all that underwear was that calculator. And if you remember at that sale, I picked up an Excalibur chess game that was incomplete. Didn't have all the pieces to it. And these were all the pawns right here. It had some other, it had bishops and rooks and all that stuff. And so I separated them into two lots and then I took the board out and tested the board. So I'm gonna sell the board as a replacement board. Then I'm gonna sell these pawns, well I already sold them separately and then the other pieces separately. Sold these for $7.50 plus shipping. Paid a dollar for the whole thing. You know, the guy's like, you know, what good is it, right? It's not even complete. So I took it for a buck. I'll make $6 profit on this. I'll make five or six on the other set of pieces. And I'll probably make 15, eh, maybe 12. No, I can't remember. I think I have it out there for, I don't remember what I have it out there for. Let's say I'll make 15 bucks on that. You know, I'm going to make $24 profit on three listings. Something I bought for a dollar. Nobody had replacement pieces out there for these. And you know people needed them. I listed these 750 plus shipping. Right? Save somebody from spending 30 bucks on the game. And they sold in a couple days. There you go. Disney, Tigger, Bowling, Match Made in Heaven. So me and my wife argued a little bit about this when it came across the line. She's like, I bought that at Goodwill. I'm like, no, you didn't. I bought that. I bought that at a sale in Roanoke. She's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> so you tell me, have I have I bought this at a yard sale? Do y'all remember me buying this Tigger shirt? And if so, what was the garage sale we bought it at? At any rate, it was uh, unfortunately had a little spot right here. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And this one sold for pretty doggone good money. It came from the Disney store and it sold for $30 plus shipping. This is probably without any blemishes on it. It's probably a $50 shirt plus shipping. Hey, really quickly while I have the camera here, I want to show you something. This came from Terry and I guess Jamie, right? And let me just see here. Terry has a YouTube channel. He's not a picker yet, but it's Tear Bear's Place. I'll have to check that out. Tear Bear's Place, like Terry, right? Okay, my husband and I watch your videos all the time. You're our favorite picker. Oh, isn't that nice of you? Thank you. We hope to be pickers after our kids are grown. And they sent me an Oklahoma plate. I have some Oklahoma plates, but I don't have that one. And so that's awesome. We will find a place somewhere back here in the cabin to put that one. And we really do appreciate it. Thank y'all. Hey, a couple of you asked about the tree. They're like, did all those people send in ornaments already? A few episodes ago, Turner asked for some folks to send in some ornaments and we decorate our tree with it. But the tree looked a little bare. So Blue Ridge Mama and Rain came out here and decorated it first. So if y'all are sending us ornaments, I'm sure... Some people already have. You told us we did. I promise you they will get on either this tree or the tree in the eBay cave in there. All right, we got three more items to go pick up. Let's go. I feel like John doing his videos. He always says, all right, let's go. <laughs> all right, let's see. Speaking of John, I don't think this is in his bin. I think this is in Lonnie's bin right here. Look at this. This is not the calculator we were talking about. I picked this one up at a different sale for a dollar. And it's not a terrific one, to be honest with you. TAI 85 regular. Not the plus, but you know what? It's working. I didn't even take the name off the back and I think it sold just under $16. So not a huge profit, but it definitely works. And I used, I put it in the little craft envelopes. I put it in these, except for this is the small one and there's a large one and I don't have any more out here. So I've got to go inside and grab some. By the way, people ask me about those. Those are really, really cheap. I love those things. They're not the sturdiest thing in the world, though. They will rip and they will tear because they are paper. But you know what? If it's a fairly sturdy item, I throw them in there all the time. I buy them by... They're so cheap, I can't even remember exactly. But I buy them by the 500s. And they last for you know a year or so at least. All right, I've got a few things in my way here. And I'll tell you what, I'm glad this is gone. Because every time Blue Ridge Mama comes in here, she gets mad at me. I think she gets mad at me, not for selling it, but for the fact that it was up there. <laughs> All right, so here's the item I was talking about earlier. 
People say, you know, I well, you know, they don't say it as much as they used to. They say, stop selling VHS or don't sell VHS. It's not worth your time. And I think largely that is true. You could get a box of VHS and you could look through the whole box and none of them could be worth any money, okay? 99% of VHS just aren't worth money. But then occasionally you'll find some. So I usually look for colors. In this case, you know, sex sells. I hate to say it, but sex does sell. But look at the colors here. You know, you, you see these colors in the back and you've got an automatic, like I said yesterday, if it looks like colors that Zach would wear on, on Saved by the Bell, you're gonna probably do okay on it. So that thing, I saw that. I'm like, you know what? That thing is going to sell for sure. And it did. I bought it for maybe 50 cents and it sold for $12.95 plus shipping. Not a huge profit, but it worked, right? Another item people used to say weren't worth your time at all are eight tracks. And those are also probably pretty true statements. However, some of them are, and they're worth it. I've done a couple of videos on eight tracks and some, you get the quadraphonic eight tracks they can be worth big bucks. I mean, in the hundreds of dollars. And anything new is always worth money as well. Not anything. But if it's new and sealed, it's usually worth some money. So here we go. Not huge money. Let me see if I can find the right one. There's a couple new sealed. That's not it. Although, that's not new sealed at all. That's not even new. It's just uh, the package outside. Here it is. Eddie Rabbit, new and sealed. And that was a great sale. Loved it. Got all kinds of 8-tracks to sell in my booth. But this one right here sold for $12.95 plus shipping. So just to give you an idea here, you know, we're into this for, you know, I don't even know what, less than a dollar. $25 plus shipping right here. Two different sellers, two different buyers. So, you know, you're going to make $21 on these two right here. And how easy is that? Snap a picture, list it, and ship it, you know, less than five minutes. You know, you do that 10 times a day, you're making 75 grand a year. The problem is <laughs> you got to sift through a lot of stuff to find the good ones, you know. The good thing for me though, is I can buy a ton of eight tracks and pick out the five or 10 that are worth 10 or $12. And the rest can go in my antique booth and I can sell them off for a buck a piece. And that kind of works for me, but for a lot of folks, it doesn't quite work that way. All right, here's the second Bonanza sale. I think this was a uh, nine, $9 plus shipping. Mary Kay time-wise, luminous wear. I don't know, bronze. So, you know, Bonanza sells stuff every once in a while. It's definitely worth it. had a lot of people ask me to do a video. I'll do a banana. No promises. I have plans to do a bonanza, like a how to, you know, how to set it up, how the shipping works. I've had a lot of people ask me to. So I will try to do that at some point in the next, say, 30 days. Next one is a snow baby. Not big money in snow babies, but you know, when they come from uh, Blue Ridge Granny's house, then uh, you can make a profit because you're not paying anything. <laughs> At any rate, 2004 from God. So a baby born in 2004. And I don't know any babies born in 2004. So oldest baby by 2002. So here you go. $10.20 plus shipping for a snow baby. All right, y'all. I probably should have said this at the beginning. I should have taken the camera off here and showed you. But this Christmas tree back here, I came down here this morning. It was about, I don't know, 5.45 in the morning. I was getting ready for school. School starts, I don't know, understand, but it's 35, 40 minutes away for me, and I gotta be there at seven, so. I got early mornings around here, and I come down here, and a light was on in here. I'd left a light on something, and so I came in to turn it off, and I hear crunch, crunch, and I'm looking on the floor here, and Boots, there you go, all you people who love Boots out there. She's an awful cat. Boots had come down here, knocked one of these bulbs off. It broke on the floor. And, she, and I couldn't find the top to it, you know, the little silver ring around the top and all that. And I found it upstairs this morning before I left <laughs> over by the coffee machine. I, I don't understand. She knocked it off and she took that glass up and I don't know if she chewed on it or what. But I thought all these were plastic, you know, all the new ones are plastic. But apparently she found the one that was still made out of glass. Here's an Inaman. We got a few Inaman. These are uh, Misfit Inamans going out to Inaman going out to some folks still we're a little behind on the commonwealthpicker.com store so if you've ordered something we've still got a few days to go we're probably three days behind if you ordered it we'll ship it out three days later uh, we're just a little bit behind on that we've been a little busy reagan's been a little busy too doing some christmas crafts she went and did a craft fair last weekend a lot of you saw that on instagram i think blue ridge mama and her are gonna make that into a video and put it on the homeschool hustler youtube channel so i'll let you know if they do that so at any rate these are going out to lynn mike lance 
Kim and Suzanne. Suzanne, your I think eBay store is Butterfly Seven One Seven One Seventy One Seventy One. So we appreciate it, and we hope your misfit finds a home, and we hope he gets things moving for you out of your eBay store. We do appreciate it, and we can't wait to see you next time. All right, we're having a lively debate in here. Cleavage yeah. Mama just doesn't want to admit she's wrong. I'm not. All wrong. right, y'all. Look at Who? the name on the bottom. All right, I understand, but that's definitely <laughs> Henry and it's Thomas. It's Henry and Thomas. That's right. Because. It it's has blue. comments. But his That's face right. is Henry. Yes. At any rate, it's, it's sold, y'all. <laughs> I go by who somebody's face is, not their butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a couple of sales out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Turner's not with us today. He's not. He's feeling a little under the weather. What's wrong, Turner? He's not feeling under the weather. We think he has maybe a pinched nerve. And his know. neck. I think it's uh, phone neck. I think it's, <laughs> Playing yeah, too many games, too long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Reagan, what do you got? I almost said turn there. We sell a We Get Things moving shirt and a sticker to Teresa. You love it when we sell stickers, don't you? Yeah. Because I told you we shouldn't get stickers, and you said <laughs> we're getting stickers. <laughs> and we've seen, you know how many we've sold? No. 107 stickers. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> more than I think. Well, we've sold more mugs than that. I would have sold like 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think that's it, but we did sell these, and they are... Uh, well, that one, we already talked about that. And the other one is just Henry and his tender, right? And they sold, do you remember how much they sold for? $10 plus shipping. $10 plus shipping. Do you think we should give Turner his dollar to save, dollar to spend, dollar to donate? Yeah. Well, he's had a rough day. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't think we should. You got to come to work to get paid, don't you? Yeah. That's right. Calling in. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthsticker.com. <laughs>